how to start coding your own stock trading bot. What's up guys, this is Jake here. Uh, I saw a lot of, lot of uh, positive love in my last video about how much I made in a week with my stock trading bot. So in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about how to start building your own and some tips or the three main factors you need to building a successful trading strategy. Okay, so if you wanna build your own stock trading bot, there's gonna be a couple things you need to know and have. Number one, you're gonna to need to know how to code. I don't know of a way to build a trading bot yet without knowing how to code or program on a computer. Um, one day I would love to build an app or software that does that for you, but for now you're gonna to have to know how to code. So um, I will be making future videos, more basic videos on how to start learning to code, but you know, with Google, YouTube, Udemy, um, you know, the internet in general, there's lots of free content to help you get started coding. Um, but that's something you're gonna to have to know. You're gonna know how uh, you're gonna to have to know how to program to start building your own trading bot. So I would start now, start learning now. You know, hopefully within a couple of days, weeks, maybe months, um, you'll be able to start working on that. But you will have to have a good understanding of knowing how to code. Okay. So number two. So say you know how to code, or maybe you're learning how to code. Um, the next step is you're gonna to have to find a broker to execute your trades on and use an, use an API to do that, okay? So a broker basically allows you to put your money in and trade some type of security or, you know, it could be a stock, could be cryptocurrencies, whatever the asset may be, you'll need some type of broker to do that. And then you'll need an API. So what an API stands for is Application Programmer Interface. And basically it's able to talk with the broker um, and execute, you know, say trades or, or get news, whatever it may be, it kind of facilitates uh, talking with that broker and using their interface to make trades in the end, right? So you'll need to uh, research a broker and get their API. So personally, I use interactive brokers, okay, which is a very, very massive international uh, stock brokerage. Uh, they have an amazing API on how to get started. Um, you can do stuff like buy and sell trades, um, you know, submit orders, get news, use a scanner, um, you know, get historical data. They have, it's very, very, their API is very, very powerful and it has all the tools you need to uh, get started making your own trading bot. With that being said, um, you do have to deposit money if you wanna use uh, real-time data and pay extra on top of that. So. You can sign up for an interactive broker's account for free, uh, link in the description if you want to, and you can use their API for free right off the bat with a paper trading account. But if you wanna use real-time data, you will have to deposit money and purchase their data plan, at least for Canadians. Uh, so for Canadians, I had to deposit a minimum of $2,000 to open an account, and then I think I pay like $5 a month to use their real-time data. It could vary between on your location. Maybe if you're American or European, it's cheaper or more expensive. I'm not really sure, but that's the current status of that. Um, some major brokerages like TD Ameritrade and the Thinkorswim platform or Retrade all have APIs uh, ready to, to get started. I think you just have to apply and get a developer account and then you'll be good to go. Robinhood, Webull, they do not have an API. Um, that's why they're cheap. They don't have an API. So um, legally you can't... Uh, build trading bots on them. There's probably a way you could hack around it and scrape their data, but um, they currently do not have a public API available for use. Um, another popular platform is TradingView. It's a very powerful uh, charting platform and it has a built-in feature where you can backtest algorithms. With that being said, you have to learn their language, which is called PineScript. Uh, it is similar to JavaScript, but it is proprietary. So if you write it in PineScript, it won't work anywhere else except TradingView. If you ever wanna convert it in the future, you will be screwed. <laughs> so um, just keep that in mind. Now on the topic of programming languages, there's no best language to build a trading bot in. In general, you just wanna use a very common language that other people are using. So if you need to share ideas, you can talk with them. Um, two main languages I would use would be C Sharp and JavaScript um, and Python as well, sorry. Python is very popular when it comes to algorithmic trading. So definitely learn one of those languages. I personally use C Sharp, but there's no best language. You can use any of the three. Um, like I said, you just wanna make sure you're using a popular language 
and not, you know, an uncommon language that nobody else can help you with. With that being said, you know, you know how to code, you know how to program, you have a broker and you got an API. The next setup is you want to just take baby steps and start small. So um, I would start reading their API, start learning how it works and then um, start programming small features like, you know, be, just being able to buy a stock and sell a stock, you know, it could be just one stock or one cryptocurrency, just simple. And then uh, after you can do that, maybe try adding simple indicators like moving averages, um, you know, start adding the ability to get historical data, maybe save it and start reading from it. Just really simple steps and slowly build that up as the foundation to your trading bot. Um, at the end of the day, you want multiple strategies running at the same time, but with programming and honestly anything, you got to really start small and just slowly brick by brick build that trading bot. Um, so once you can do that and you're, you're able to um, code and, and submit market orders and um, add indicators, you want to start forming um, what I call the three pillars of a profitable and successful trading bot. So those three pillars are uh, as follows. So number one, you want risk management. You want to be able to know when you're getting out and in, okay? And you always want a positive uh, risk to reward ratio. You want a two or three or four to one risk return ratio where you're risking one, say $1, to potentially make $4 or $3, so that way it's in your favor, okay? You don't want a one to one or a um, you know lower ratio, zero or 0.5 to one, because then you're risking more than what your reward is, okay? so. You, your trading bot should incorporate um, some type of risk management system that you've coded. The second pillar is order management. Um, are you when you're submitting a buy or sell order, you know you want to make sure it knows that that's one order. And if it can can it make multiple orders at the same time, or is it just one at a time? It should know your trading bot should know um, the execution of the orders. And then what type of execution is it? You know, making is it doing a market order where it's just you know submitting a buy on the current market price? Is it doing a limit order or an OCO order? There's many different orders you can do, and I'll explain those in a future video because I know it's somewhat confusing. But your bot should have an idea of how am I submitting my orders and what orders I'm submitting. The last pillar that you want to have is an, a back tested profitable strategy. So you should be able to take your strategy and test it with the past two years worth of data, okay? So say you have a strategy, you know, in one day, maybe it returns 1%. You're like, all right, this is pretty sweet. Let's go live. You'll probably lose a lot of money that way. You wanna be able to take that strategy and back test it the last two years. So maybe back to 2018 or 2017, whatever it may be, and see how well it does. How much money does it make? What's the risk to reward ratio? What's the drawdown? What's the total profits? You want to know this type of data before you go live so it reduces your risk of losing money, okay? So you need to, in your trading bot, you need to either build some type of system that back tests or find uh, systems online that you can test your your strategy with and get a general sense of how well it does and then tweak it. You know, if it's not as good as you want to, you gotta tweak it and, and make it a little bit bigger, uh, a little bit better. And that's, you know, you can go down a very, very far rabbit hole of trying to tweak your bot. I know I have you know, hundreds of hours trying to make it better and sometimes it's better to uh, either try a different whole strat or try a whole different strategy or move on to something else. It's just, you know, you have to know when to stop but you wanna tweak it and then rerun the back test and see if it does better. So in the next couple of videos, I wanna start uh, doing tutorials on how to, start get, how to start coding and how to start making your own trading bot by writing actual code. Um, I didn't want to go into it in this video because I felt like it would be too overwhelming for you guys. So in the next couple of videos, I will start doing that and actually start coding with you guys and building your first trading bot. So anyways, I really hope you'd enjoyed this video and you found value in this. Please leave a comment below on what video I should make next. I'm really excited to start helping you build your first trading bot and make more videos on it. So anyways, have a good one guys and we'll see you next time.